oh, you know, IVFs and stuff. Um, okay, so today I had my, what did I have today? Um, my finance consult. So today I had my finance consult and we're still like crossing our fingers that insurance is gonna take care of all this stuff. Because right now, if insurance doesn't, this IVF, just for the IVF, not for genetic testing, not for medications, nothing, just the IVF is gonna be $13,600. And then medications and, um, what else do I have? Medications, genetic testing, that kind of thing. Um, I am feeling, I was feeling like really good about it and then I started feeling crappy, like, well, first I was feeling crappy about like whether or not I felt like insurance was going to take care of it and then I was feeling really good about it and now I'm kind of feeling crappy about it again. I don't know, you guys, I don't know if insurance is going to cover this and I'm just frustrated because that was the whole point <laughs> and I'm like, oh, the amount of money of insurance to cover this. Now I'm on the hook for 20 grand for an IVF that I might have needed, but I might have not needed. <laughs> the whole point was for insurance. And I'm, I'm definitely, you know, counting my chickens before they hatch. Insurance may cover. Um, I was thinking about it even more. And because the fine print today, when I talked to the finance person, the fine print says six IUIs slash time cycles before we will cover three IVFs slash FETs, which is not very many. I mean, I think I did three FETs in the last like year and a half, and they all failed. Um. So when I hear the slash FET part, that's what makes me think that the IVFs and the FETs that I've done in the past are not gonna count towards that six, like IUI timed cycle situation. But I was thinking about it today. So when I lived in Oklahoma in 2012, I did one IUI and it was like right before we moved. So I did one IUI and then I'm pretty sure we were like getting ready to move and so I asked the doctor, hey, can I just be on Femara? Because I was on Femara when I did my um, first IUI. And I said, hey, can I just be on Femara again but not do an IUI this time because we're gonna be moving and so I'm not I'm not really gonna be here. So can we just try me being on the Femara just by, the, just by itself? And he said yes. And that didn't work obviously. And then we moved here and I did, I had surgery and then we did four more IUIs so I have done five IUIs, and then I asked the insurance person, I'm like, what is the time cycle? And she said, you know, like when you're on drugs? Cause I'm like, um, when you're infertile, every cycle is a time cycle. Like if you, you know, you feel me on that, like you're paying attention to when you're ovulating and you're taking advantage of that day. And like every cycle is a time cycle. But um, anyway, she said, I, I imagine when you're on medication, and so, like, I did that one cycle that was just on Femara. So I should have six, if I'm remembering everything correctly. It was so long ago. Um, the insurance coordinator at the new clinic, because I said, do I need to get my records, my medical records from Oklahoma? And she said, well, did you do an IVF in Oklahoma? And I said, no. She said, well, then I shouldn't need them. And then I was like, that's why I started feeling kind of like, oh, great. Because those should be important. Those two cycles in Oklahoma should make a difference. <sighs> anyway, um, on the plus side, I went and picked up a few prescriptions today. They're having me do testosterone, which I start the testosterone tomorrow. And it's like a... Kind of like a deodorant tube a little bit so you turn the bottom and it like clicks up through the top 
and he said four clicks and then you rub it in like your upper like your shoulder area um and just alternate shoulders every day i need to print my calendar out because i don't know how many days i'm supposed to say that but. good job our kids have been up since 5 30 so it it was easy tonight, thank goodness. So I start the testosterone tomorrow. <laughs> and then I picked up my human growth hormone. They are putting me on human growth hormone like I was on last time. Different kinds. I was on Sizin last time. This is called Omnitrope. Um, but here is the best part about this. So insurance is not going to cover human growth hormone, even though like my insurance is supposed to cover all this IVF stuff. Human growth hormone is one of the things that insurance is not going to cover. I'm pretty sure. Well, I'm like 99.9. .9. I'm like birth control sure. Okay. <laughs> um, so when I called the pharmacy today, because human growth hormone is crazy expensive. When I called the pharmacy today, um, the, the pharmacist tech or whoever I was talking to was like, hey, I'm going to do this with you, but while I have you on the phone, go to Omnitrope's website and blah, 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 blah. And she's like, and, and they have coupons on there and see if you qualify. Anyway, guess what? I qualify. I qualified for one of the coupons. You guys, this is a huge deal. And when I say this is a huge deal, this drug, I don't have the original price, but I'm pretty sure this, he said this is, so this is three vials of it, tiny vials, right? And he said each vial should give me two um, doses. But I'm gonna have to look into that a little bit more because I don't know if that's totally... Anyway, so for three doses or possibly six doses, it was $1,229. And after the coupon that I qualified for, $530. I only had to pay $530. That's like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars cheaper. So that was such a bright light in this day. <laughs> I have had a rough day. Uh, Luke was up at 5.30. He is no, not sleeping. He just isn't sleep. He's not a sleeper. Some people say, oh, my, my kid's such a good sleeper. My kid is a very terrible sleeper. He was up at 5.30. And... That just is like automatic bad mood for me. I try so hard and I realize he's just a little kid and stuff, but like that is so early. Um, and then just, you know, money and IVF and it's just, I'm just frustrated and I'm overwhelmed and I'm feeling very, I don't know, I was just, I was telling Mike, you know, that when I did the IVF, the one with Luke, I felt very on top of it. I felt like I knew what I was doing. I felt like I was in control. This feels out of control. I'm feeling chaotic and I'm feeling overwhelmed. I And I think it's for multiple reasons, right? One reason, I have a two year old. So my mind is in a million different places at once just trying to take care of him and before i didn't have that right so my sole focus is on myself two i changed clinics so i'm already feeling like really stressed and overwhelmed with just the newness of it all and just the new way that they do things the new way that they communicate the everything's just new and the third thing is, i mean it's ivf like it's, it's just a stressful situation anyway but i'm just I'm overwhelmed <laughs> and I'm I just and I'm afraid that being overwhelmed and just feeling chaotic like my life just feeling it just feels like chaos right now I feel like that's gonna make me screw it up <laughs> Mike's like you're not gonna screw it up just follow the instructions and I'm like we've said that before and I've still screwed things up in the past which is so funny it makes me sound so stupid but it's just there's just so much um, I haven't printed off my calendar yet I need to print it off I had to get a new one today because they had to change a few things in it from yesterday and so I need to print it off but I do know that tomorrow I start the testosterone 
it's gonna be a morning drug see and that's another thing about my clinic they were not specific about morning or evening like what drugs are in the morning what drugs are in the evening you just did all your drugs at the same time every day and like like all of them one time a day and this one it's like these drugs are in the morning these drugs are in the evening this drug you take half of it in the morning you take half of it in the evening like and even like one of the injections i think it's the gonal f i take half my gonal f inj injection in the morning and the other half in the evening and i just am feeling like ah. and this time of year like we're just so busy we're gonna be traveling during all of this and it's coming on so much faster than I anticipated and insurance is making me crazy and I'm so worried about that and I'm just, oh gosh, I'm just worried. So I'm really stressed out right now. Um, but I'm just honestly just trying to take it day by day and trying to like check the things off. Like what do I have to do today? Check it off the list. Because if I try to think like down the line of, you know clear till the egg retrieval which is when i say clear i mean it's like three weeks away then i might lose my mind so i have to just like stay in the moment and try to just accomplish what i need to accomplish i just got an email today from the specialty pharmacy that's doing like the the injections so like the gonal f the i don't know what it's called the follicle one though it's one of the stimulators. I can't think of which one I'm on because I've been on different ones in the past too. Anyway, those ones, I just got an email from the pharmacy saying that um, they need a pre-auth and insurance won't cover it until they get the, what they need blah, blah, blah. or even if it like, and when they said like insurance approval and stuff, I'm like, that's if insurance covers it. They should, but I, I highly anticipate insurance denying all of this and then us just having to like appeal or I don't know, I, I don't know. Insurance is just a nightmare. But I'm like, of course, of course they need more. So I just sent an email to the nurse. I'm like, they said I don't need to do anything. That you're just gonna take care of, like the email said. You don't need to do anything. We sent all the information to your doctor. I'm like, just checking with her because I don't want my drugs to come late. I need them when I need them, which those drugs I don't need for a little while. And I'm just blabbing, but oh, I'm stressed, you guys. I didn't want to do this ever again, ever again, because this is why, because it's the most stressful situation and it's a lot of flipping money and I just would rather not. You know what I really want to do? Have babies the way everybody else has babies. And that's another thing that I was thinking about today. Is I'm just angry and I just, why, why me? You know, I was doing the why me, pity me, right? And I realized that people go through way harder stuff than this. And to be honest with you, I would choose this trial over a lot of trials that people go through. I would choose this. But it doesn't make it better. It doesn't make it easy. It still is awful. So, anyway. It's fine. Things will look up. It will be over. It will end. Please. I'm sorry I'm complaining. But this is just my real life. So, anyway. But the good news is. Good news. I only had to pay $530 for my human growth hormone. So that's awesome. And the testosterone was only like 40 bucks. So, so far we're only in it $600. What else have I got? That's all I've gotten so far, but so far we're only in it $600. There are a few fees through the clinic that insurance won't touch. So I know I have to pay those, but I know that and I understand that and that's okay. If I can just come out of this like not 15 grand, 20 grand, and more like a couple grand, that's more what I was expecting and hoping for. So, oh my gosh, I better get a baby out of this.